Hello all and welcome back to the answer video for our Pride workshop uh, where we looked at key LGBT plus terms and the different flags you would see at a Pride parade. Now the first thing we got you to do is tell us what do the letters L, G, B, T, Q and I stand for and these stand for lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans or transgender, queer and intersex. Now a lesbian is a homosexual woman meaning when a woman is only attracted to other women. Gay or homosexual means when a man is only attracted to other men. However, this can also be used as an umbrella term for both homosexual females and males. Bisexual is when someone is attracted not exclusively to people of one particular gender. So they could be attracted to both men and women. Transgender is a term relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex. Queer is a term that has been taken back by the LGBT plus community. Initially used as an insult, it now refers to a sexual or gender identity that does not correspond to established ideas of sexuality and gender, especially heterosexual norms. In other words, queer is an umbrella term for sexual and gender identities or minorities who are not heterosexual and are not cisgender. Intersex people are individuals born with any of several variations in sex characteristics, including chromosomes, sex hormones or genitals that do not fit the typical definitions for male or female bodies. And we also asked you why do we put the plus at the end of LGBT plus? Um, and some people don't associate with labels or some people associate with a label that is not in the widely used LGBT. And this is the reason why we use a plus symbol to show that there are many other identities and that they are all included in the community. So next we were looking at sorting those key terms into two categories, whether that is sexual orientations or gender identities. We are going to start off with looking at what falls under sexual orientations. So first of all, you have the term lesbian, gay, bisexual, straight, asexual, which is any person who experiences little or no sexual attractions, pansexual, which is any person attracted to all and any types of gender. And the second category is gender identities. So first of all, you can have trans or transgender. You can have cisgender, which is the same or similar to what you are assigned at birth. So it can be male or female. Non-binary, which is a person who identifies with no gender at all, or maybe more than one gender. Or gender fluid, which is someone who feels their gender is not static and can change over their lifetimes. Okay, so the answers to the flag question we asked before. There were loads of different flags, obviously, but these are the ones that you would see at a Pride Festival. And the answers are the transgender flag, the gay flag, the lesbian flag, the bisexual flag, the pansexual flag, the asexual flag, the heterosexual flag, the genderqueer flag, and the intersex flag. And the question before about why black and brown were added into the rainbow flag is because in Philadelphia, they decided in 2017 to include those two colors to represent people of color in the LGBT community and how their experience is different and sometimes harder and to send love and to send respect to the community within the LGBT community to protect it. A lot of people said that including black and brown in that flag was controversial and that it didn't need to be done. Um, but then obviously a lot of people supported it as well. We'd love to know your opinion, so please put it in the Instagram story so we can see what you think. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the Pride Takeover.